Hi, I'm Venus, and thank you for checking out my podcast today. You know what? It's been a little over a year since the first episode launched, and I'm really proud of how far it's come in such a short time. My hope is that I can continue to be able to share my love for this beautiful and sexy relationship dynamic. If you haven't already, please visit venuscuckoldress.com and you'll find a wealth of helpful resources, some sexy stories, and of course, the Venus Vault. The Venus Vault is a look into my encounters from behind the bedroom door. And now on venuscuckoldress.com, there's a shop where you can buy merchandise. So whether it's something that's funny, sweet, sexy, or totally discreet, there'll be something for everyone. All right, now let's get started so you can enjoy this episode. Here we go. On this episode of the Venus Cuckoldress podcast. I want to get married on a beautiful white sand beach somewhere overlooking crystal clear blue waters. I want five of my favorite black eyes and they will get a special invitation to the event. They will watch us take our vows and maybe even slip into a few of the photos with the bride and groom. After the ceremony, they join us in our honeymoon suite and that is when all the magic happens. I can picture myself on my knees, my ring sparkling on my finger, my hair perfectly styled, and my makeup is totally on point. My pretty white dress contrasts sharply with the smooth, beautiful black skin surrounding me. The photographer in the background will be making sure every incredible moment is expertly documented for me. I will look over at my husband and ask him to come over to me. I want a comparison photo. God, I love those photos. Then he goes to sit back in the corner to watch. My black bulls move forward towards me and they take me. They take what they want and they don't have to ask. My mascara runs down my cheeks. My blonde hair falls out of place. My dress eventually ends up in a big, messy pile on the floor. I take all of that big black cock like I'm made for it, because I am. I look over at my husband, watching me, loving it. I smile at him and I say, I love you, baby. I am in heaven and he is right there with me. Welcome to the Venus Cuckoldress Podcast, a place to learn all things cuckolding for the curious, the passionate, and the sexually empowered woman who wants it all. Make sure you go to venuscuckoldress.com to subscribe to the podcast and check out the Venus blog. And of course, if you love it, share it. Now, sit back, make yourself comfortable, and enjoy the show with your host, Venus. the Venus Cuckoldress podcast. I'm your host, Venus. Thank you so much for joining me today. And wow, do I have a show for you today. (laughs) This one (laughs) is going to go down in the list of all time favorites of mine for sure, because I get to talk about ultimate cuckolding fantasies and Who doesn't love to hear about ultimate cuckolding fantasies? This is going to be really fun and super hot. So be prepared. There's your warning up front. (laughs) Now, before we get into that, there's a few things I want to go over. The first being a story 
about a recent reconnection that I had. And for all of you people who have been listening to me for a long time, you've probably heard me talk about my first cuckolding experience several times. And that was where I went to a hotel, I met up with this black guy, and I had my boyfriend listen on the phone. Well, I haven't seen that black guy since then. Um, We just couldn't connect our schedules, and we kind of lost touch for a little bit. And I saw him last weekend. And let me tell you, it was a lot of fun. And it's so funny because where I live, their race play is not like a big thing. It's just, I don't know why it's just not. I think it's probably more so in the United States. Um, But he's the one bull who loves it. Like, it initiates it. And I'm like, this is not something that him and I talked about beforehand. And he just like went for it and like made me say all sorts of things. And like, oh my God, it's fucking awkward. It's, it's hot. It's taboo. It's like, it's so fucked, (laughs) but it was so fun. I just love it. And yeah, we had a really great time. And Uh, He decided that he wanted to take a video, and uh, so he took a a video of me face down, ass up. He's making me say some stuff, and it actually, the video turned out really, really good. So I have added it to the vault on venuscuckoldress.com. If you are a Patreon subscriber, you get access to the vault, so you get uh, some, I look at the behind the bedroom door. And in this case, it's a look at me with my very first bowl. And so yeah, it's hot. It turned out like, oh, it's hot. I yeah, (laughs) that's all I'm going to say about that. And next, I want to talk a little bit about Apple reviews. I have not talked about this at all on the podcast. And I figure, you know what? It's about time. (laughs) So recently I went on to Apple. I had a look at all of your reviews. Thank you so much to everyone who has taken the time to go and and rate the podcast, but also to write a review. I love reading these. So if you love the podcast and you would like to show it, please go to Apple and post a review there. I would absolutely love it. The last one, it says, thanks for all the information. I just assumed this was a way for my husband to see other women also, but now I understand that this is not what he needed at all. So I love that review because for one, it's from a woman. She's listening to the show. Thank you so much. And also because this is such a common worry that women have when their husband brings it up is they're kind of skeptical. Like, is this your backdoor way of sleeping with other women? And like, I swear almost all women have that go through their minds. So I'm not sure why. And and the husbands will be the first to say, look, that's not what I want. (laughs) I want you to go and have your fun. (laughs) And we enjoy that part together. So anyway, I love that review. Thank you so much. There's another one I really want to read. Uh, This one says new listener going to be a lifetime listener. Yay. So I'm assuming it's from a guy. He says, honestly, Venus, you're amazing. The topic and subject is so perfect. So it'd be easy to listen to regardless. But truly your timing, cadence, attitude and voice is also perfect. This podcast is a 10 out of 10. You would be a total success in any form of radio or podcast. And wow, (laughs) I was like, if that's not a glowing review, I don't know what is. So thank you so much for that. I am super appreciative of that. I just it makes me feel really good about what I'm doing. So thank you. And lastly, I just want to mention that the next Pillow Talk is coming up July 23rd. It's a live cast video event. And if you haven't joined in on them before, you're missing out. They're so much fun. You just have to go to patreon.com forward slash Venus Cuckold just to uh, sign up for like the lowest tier. And that'll give you access to the live cast event. But July 23rd, 
And the guests for this one are just going to be outstanding. So, of course, we have a couple cuckold dresses. Anne and Scarlett are going to be there. And this time we have a few new guests. Okay, Pagan is going to be there as well. He's been on once before. But Pagan from The Four Horsemen is going to be there as well as Drew Marston, who is the author publisher of Spades Magazine, is going to be there. And Confident Cuck is going to be there as well. Some of you may know him from his blog. So, oh my goodness, it's going to be so much fun. So I really hope that you're going to be able to make it. So make sure you register early for that. You can also go to venuscuckoldress.com, click on the tab that says Pillow Talks with Venus. You can get more information there. One last announcement. So if you are a subscriber on Apple Podcasts, you get a weekly bonus episode. And or if you are a subscriber on Patreon for the Venus Cuckoldress podcast, you also get those weekly episodes. The most recent one or one of the most recent ones that I did had to do with where to find a woman who's into this kind of lifestyle. So the question came from a listener and he is an experienced cock and he's single and he's he's wondering, you know, where can I find some, a woman who's like this? So I tackled that question as best I could on the most recent mini episodes. So if you're curious to listen to that one, you can either go to patreon.com forward slash Venus Cuckoldress or you can just subscribe to Apple subscriptions for the Venus Cuckoldress podcast. All right. Now, before we get into the ultimate cuckolding fantasies, here is a quick little word from my friend over at Maison de Neige. Interracial, black and white, the beautiful and sexy relationship dynamic that we love, now in a lifestyle clothing brand you can wear with pride. Don't sacrifice quality and comfort any longer. With Maison de Neige, you get both in fresh, empowering looks for every occasion, for everyone. From the streets to the sheets and everywhere in between. Check us out at MaisonDeNegeCouture.com. Maison de Neige Couture, modern fashion for the modern revolution. Okay, so diving right in. Here we go. These are my ultimate cuckolding fantasies. The first one I haven't really talked a lot about, but this discussion happened a lot between myself and my first cuck. Our relationship was long distance, so we talked a lot on the phone about fantasies. And one of the ones we talked a lot about was the cuckolding kind of first date. <laughs> And obviously, I knew he was into this kind of lifestyle, this kind of relationship. And he thought it would be really hot, or we at least talked about it, to have a first date that included a kind of surprise cuckolding session. And I just thought that was hot as fuck. So we talked about like going out for dinner and unbeknownst to him, I had spoken to a bull beforehand and arranged for him to be there in the restaurant or the bar, whatever. And like maybe halfway through the date, I get up and I go sit at the bar with this bull and my boyfriend doesn't know what's going on, <laughs> but he loves it. Oh, I just fucking love this. And that's how I kind of portrayed that happening. And then, you know, we end up going back to like the room together at a hotel or something like that. And that kind of surprise night happening would be like the ultimate way to start out this kind of relationship. Now, let me just say, <laughs> it was all fantasy talk. And in reality, cuckolding is a very difficult thing for like psychologically for guys to go through, especially right in the beginning. So that might not be the greatest idea, <laughs> but it was really hot to talk about. <laughs> and I loved it. Next, I want to talk about my fantasies that I've thought about along the years about um, getting engaged. So the proposal and at first I thought like, okay, it'd be so hot if like I was face down ass up with my bull and, and my boyfriend's kind of like in front of me. And that in that moment where I'm just getting like, you know, fucked so good, my boyfriend proposes to me. 
I just, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe some people will think that's just a lot going on in that moment. But for me, I just thought it was like so hot because in my boyfriend's eyes, I feel like he would be looking at me with so much love and adoration in that moment that it would be just that ultimate extension of, you know, him showing his love for me in that moment. So anyway, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about that. I really like it. But recently I was thinking it might actually be hotter to have him propose while he's doing cleanup. Because I've talked about cleanup on this podcast before. And so you all know how much I love that moment, that scene, that act, the emotional level of cleanup. Like it is so, there's something about it that's just so amazing. But to have my boyfriend propose as he has his face buried between my thighs, like cleaning up this messy pussy that just fucked somebody else. I just think that would be so ultimately so symbolic. And I would love that. (laughs) So that's my latest fantasy about getting engaged. (laughs) That next brings me to truly my ultimate cuckolding fantasy, which I'm sure a lot of you have already heard about before because I don't shut up about it, but it is having my first BBC gangbang on my wedding night. This is something that I first heard about when I talked about it with my first cuck boyfriend. And from that point on, I was like, yes, that is, that is what I want. Like there's no negotiating it. That is, it's going to be that. (laughs) So (laughs) I've thought about it for quite a while and I actually wrote a post about it on my blog. So I'm just going to read this post because it's a small little snapshot of what I imagined this night being, but it's so hot. It's so beautiful. All right, here we go. I want to get married on a beautiful white sand beach somewhere, overlooking crystal clear blue waters. I want five of my favorite black guys, and they will get a special invitation to the event. They will watch us, take our vows, and maybe even slip into a few of the photos with the bride and groom. After the ceremony, they join us in our honeymoon suite, and that is when all the magic happens. I can picture myself on my knees, my ring sparkling on my finger, my hair perfectly styled, and my makeup is totally on point. My pretty white dress contrasts sharply with the smooth, beautiful black skin surrounding me. The photographer in the background will be making sure every incredible moment is expertly documented for me. I will look over at my husband and ask him to come over to me. I want a comparison photo. God, I love those photos. Then he goes to sit back in the corner to watch. My black bulls move forward towards me and they take me. They take what they want and they don't have to ask. My mascara runs down my cheeks. My blonde hair falls out of place. My dress eventually ends up in a big, messy pile on the floor. I take all of that big black cock like I'm made for it, because I am. I look over at my husband, watching me, loving it. I smile at him and I say, I love you, baby. I am in heaven, and he is right there with me. That will be my wedding night. (laughs) I promise you that. (laughs) It's going to be 
epic. And uh, people over the years have asked me to kind of add details to that story. Like what would, what exactly would you like this, that, and whatever else. And that, you know, lots of guys want to know all the details about that. And I'm just like, no, (laughs) that is my picture in my mind of what I want. But as far as everything else goes, I want it to be very kind of free flowing and spontaneous. And I don't want everything to kind of feel scripted. So that's as far as I'm going to go as far as like picturing in my my mind what it is that I want. All right. Now there's the honeymoon as well. People have asked me about the honeymoon and I'm like, hmm, that's a good idea. (laughs) Maybe one or two of my bulls can come with us on the honeymoon. I think that that would be really fun. That would be great. And then, of course, anniversaries every year after that would have to be kind of like extra special. So maybe it's just a matter of having like a gangbang on every anniversary after that. I'm not sure. There's so many possibilities. <laughs> Lastly, I have talked about something on my post on venuscuckoldress.com called 17 ways to cuck your man at the very end where I talked about fucking your boyfriend or husband's friends or his relatives or co-workers or his boss. I know that this is very like extreme for a lot of people, but I don't know. There's something about that that's just so hot to me. <laughs> That's just the way my cuckold just brain works. <laughs> I don't know why, but that shit was like really, really hot, especially when it comes to like his friends and yeah, coworkers maybe. I don't know. I just really, really like that fantasy a lot. So my my mind can kind of get carried away sometimes thinking about stuff like that and Yeah, like I said, it might be entirely way too out there for some people. But for me, I really like it. So those are my ultimate cuckolding fantasies. That's all I can think of for now. I mean, I've heard all sorts of ultimate fantasies from cucks out there. And a lot of them involve like a lot of femdom kind of stuff. And it's not that I'm not into some of that. It's just that, I don't know, for some reason, my... My ultimate cuckolding fantasies just have to do with like important occasions, really ceremonial kind of occasions or important people to cuck him with. So, yeah, like the first date and the, you know, proposal, the wedding night, the anniversaries, his friends, like relatives, coworkers, that sort of thing. I think that's where the appeal must come from me because I do connect my ultimate fantasies with those special occasions or those kind of special people in his life. So yeah. Anyway, there's a little window into my cuckolder's brain. (laughs) I hope you enjoyed it. You can go to venuscuckoldress.com, click on the tab that says Ask Venus, the Venus hotline. If you have an ultimate cuckolding fantasy that you think I would really love, I'd like to hear it. So you can go there, click on that tab and actually send me a voicemail with that. I would love it. All right, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you go to venuscuckoldress.com to subscribe to the podcast and also check out the blog. I'm also on Twitter if you want to join me there. My handle is at cuckoldressv. That's it for today and we'll see you next time. Hello, Venus Cuckoldress devotees. I'm Miss Nookie, a cuckoldress and the founder of Dating Kinky, a dating and sexy education website. I was happily introduced to cuckolding nearly eight years ago by my partner, and I've been an enthusiastic participant ever since. And like Venus, who is beautiful and brilliant, by the way, 
I'm also passionate about spreading the good word on this amazingly intimate lifestyle. For example, I have a new book about cuckolding coming out April 29th, an online class based on personal experiences, research, and conversations with other happy cuckold couples, a set of 20 erotic tales about cuckolding, and finally, a weekly podcast answering cuckolding-related questions from all of you cucks, stags, cuckoldresses, hot wives, and bulls out there, co-hosted with the stunning Anne Cuckoldress and Venus herself. Want to know more? Just send an email to cuckyou at datingkinky.com. That's cuckyou, all one word, at datingkinky.com. <laughs>